construction machinery runs constantly in Japan as attention turns to recovering from the 2011 tsunami. In Kesunuma, tsunami scientist Kostas Sinolakis sees how Japanese in the past passed the word to their descendants. This is a tsunami stone. It is a monument to those people who died, and this stone tells us that two men and two women died here back in 1933 but it is also meant as a warning to the future generations that they live inside a tsunami hazard zone. Now, this is a fantastic custom that they have in Japan, which is to build these monuments in places which have been hit by tsunamis in the past. What it says here is, if you hear a loud noise, a dong, then you know that the tsunami is coming. And this is quite characteristic. What eyewitnesses describe anywhere in the world, from Indonesia to the Philippines to South America to Japan, is the sound of the tsunami. When the tsunami comes in, you don't see it. The last warning is the noise of it. People describe it sometimes as an airplane that's landing, or abrupt falling rain. And here, they describe it as a dome, but always there's a sound. And this is absolutely the right warning, because if everything else fails, if you don't see any of the signs of a tsunami, which is most of the time a very fast shoreline recession, at least if you hear it, this will give you a sporting chance to evacuate on time. The Japanese tradition of warning the population and being prepared for tsunamis has paid off. Today, Japan has a robust system of sensors and emergency plans for broadcasting the word to endangered areas. The 2011 disaster left 18,000 people dead or missing. Had there been no warning at all, the total might have been 10 times greater.